Oh, there's a lot. There's always a lot. I think right now, and as we'll talk about later today, uh, you know, we have 11 drugs that are targeted therapies for treating psoriasis. So I, I think we have that down pretty pat. Certainly we need to provide more education, not only to our patients, but also to our, our colleagues. Uh, I think that we need cost-effective agents. I think we need oral systemic agents that are almost, if not equally, as effective as biologics with really nice safety profiles. Hopefully we can get those. And certainly, not every patient who has psoriatic skin disease is gonna get a systemic therapy. Certainly patients with mild psoriasis who don't have a number of comorbidities, who don't have background psoriatic arthritis are appropriate candidates for topical therapy. And so we have new ones on the horizon. For instance, uh, there is uh, something called an aryl hydrocarbon receptor agonist, a new generation product, pro product called Topinarov, which I think is unique. And what's unique about it is in the skin, it actually decreases cytokines. It decreases the inflammation that we see associated with psoriatic skin disease. So there are other topical therapies. There are new combination therapies that um, include uh, topical vitamin D and topical corticosteroids that are on horizons. We received a drug just this past year, which is a unique agent, which includes a retinoid, which is effective for psoriasis, but can be a little bit irritating. And yet at the same time, in that fixed combination therapy, it has a topical corticosteroid to balance out the consequences of both agents. And so I think that is uh, extremely unique to have in our topical therapy armamentarian. Moreover, what I think is, is important on the horizon are even more targeted therapies, getting close to, if you will, the neck of the inflammation, so to speak, where we can really decrease those cytokines more specifically. And so there's a drug that is coming to market called bimacuzumab. It should be available, hopefully, to us in the next year or two, uh, which is specifically targeted uh, to a component of the interleukin-17 group of cytokines, and so far the preliminary data uh, in its early trials appears to be quite, quite exceptional. I say to my patients and I say to my colleagues, the biologic therapies are fantastic, but they don't clear 100% of the patients 100% of the time. But I, I must admit that we really are getting closer. We used to say in the earlier days of our biologic therapies, say getting close to about 20 years ago when they were most active in clinical trials, when they came out, we would say we can get your skin clearer, but now we can say that we can get your skin clear. And we have agents right now that more than 50% of the time in the clinical trials have individuals with completely clear skin at the end of one year. And some of the even newer agents, the numbers are even more specific, where we're close to 70% of the patients, 100% clear at the end of one year. And I have these conversations with my patients uh, because we've really come a long way. And I think it provides a great deal of confidence for patients that are particularly down and out about their condition. You know, as you know, anxiety, depression are very important parts of psoriatic disease. And uh, we can really give patients uh, a lot of hope that they, they can have significant improvement. So the future looks bright.